What words does a, do a label start with? Seems like. It seems like. It seems like sounds like. It looks like. Looks like. Feels like. What else? That's good. No, no, no. How else could you start potentially start a label? It seems. It sounds. It looks. It feels. Didn't bring any books up here. Let's talk about switching out the the first word from it to what. You. you. Yes. Exactly. Now. Here's what we need you guys to come to accept, and it's taken us a while to come to accept this. Every single word has an emotional impact on the person on the other side. When do words not have emotional impacts on the people on the other side? Or when they're dead, right? That's when words do not have an emotional impact. Limbic system, which con controls this impact very much like the respiratory system. When is your respiratory system no longer functioning? When you're dead. How much control do you have over your breathing? None? Hold your breath. Can you hold your breath? Yeah. Okay, hold your breath. Now, just keep it that way for a while. <laughs> so it's a great analogy. That's how much control we have our, uh, over our limbic system. Pretty much the same amount. Tell yourself to calm down. You can keep yourself under control for about as long as you can hold your breath. What's the point of why I'm saying this? The word it has a different impact on the other person than the word you does. The word I has a different impact, emotional impact on the other person than the word you has. It, you, I, we, every single, single word has an emotional impact. I'll give you a quick example to begin to grasp the subtle nature of this, because this is subtle, it'll be invisible which means until you know what it is yourself, it looks like you're David Blaine, you're working magic, you actually have superpowers. And as soon as we explain it, it would be like if we explained a David Blaine magic trick to you, like, ah, oh, that's obvious, everybody can see that. All right, so when I became uh, an FBI, ho when, I wanted, when I was an FBI agent, I wanted to be a hostage negotiator. I knew that in order to be a hostage negotiator, you had to go down to Quantico. And I wasn't really enthusiastic about going down to Quantico for two weeks, let alone going down there at all, because Quantico is a boring place. It's so boring, they got a bar there to keep you entertained. But once I got down there, I found myself in the middle of hostage negotiators from around the, not just around the, across the country, but around the world. And I was suddenly a member of an international negotiation community that saved lives. And then while I was there, I started hearing about these men and women that flew all over the world working kidnappings, and I found out these people were on the SINT team within the hostage negotiators of the FBI. And by the time the training was over, I knew I wanted to be a member of the SINT team. Now I'll tell you the same story. When you're, an, when you're an FBI agent and you want to become a hostage negotiator, you find out that you've got to go down to Quantico for two weeks, and you're not particularly enthusiastic about being down there because Quantico's a boring place. It's so boring they got a bar, and you don't want to be there over the weekend. But you get down there and suddenly find yourself in the middle of hostage negotiators, not just from across the country, but from around the world. And then you start hearing about these men and women with the FBI who work international kidnapping, and you find out that they're members of the SINT team and they fly all over the world to save lives. And by the time the training is over, you know you want to be a member of the SINT team. And I told you the exact same story twice and only changed out one word. And they felt different. And that's the ability when you begin to understand the simplicity of this, but the impact of the words, your word choices, you are going to be able to have those subtle differences with every single word you pick in a negotiation. And so understanding the impact of the word I and the impact of the word you and the impact of the word it, the entire process will begin to slow down for you and you will have a buffet of choices to make with everything and you will decide how you want the person to feel in the next few moments and you'll only get your feel and be able to do it in an instant with practice, with getting your reps in. So stick with the structures of the labels. Now you have slides there where they are written out for you, some of which there's a blank. We want you to hand write in these both today and in the future. But this is exactly what I was just talking about, the it and the you. 
In the second story, every time I used the word you, I reached out and touched you ever so gently and got your attention in a different way. Every time I used the word I, it interrupted your thinking a little bit and brought the attention back to me. There's sometimes that, that you want, it's context driven. No word, no phrase is bad or good on its face. It's when it's deployed. It's context driven and beginning an understanding of how to deploy it. But the one thing we do not want you to do is a lot of people have used this active listening, if you will, which is a phrase we don't even use anymore. And in a labeling process, I want to say, what I'm hearing is, that's not good. That's the improper poor deployment of an active listening skill. What I'm hearing is. There's a whole bunch of reasons why that structure is it's a poor structure and it's poor timing. We want you to say, it seems it sounds it looks, you see me sound you look. At some point in time, you may come across with, I know you're angry. That's okay. But that's for an additional, emo a different emotional moment. As Brandon continues to say, we're creating emotional moments. When, when both Brandon and I and Derek and Isaac are talking about emotional moments at the very beginning, you're like, I, I, what, I don't know what an emotional moment is. But now we're beginning to describe to you in specificity what those are and when and how to create them. 